That's it. Yeah, y'all see it. Two times spicy. Hey y'all, it's me, and I'm back, back with another challenge. So, this, this challenge is back in the day baby back rib challenge. This challenge is a collab between More Eats and Madam Soul Food. Um, the lonely, I'm sorry, as y'all can see, it's just me. I'm trying to hold it down while my baby working and I'm sitting in the house not working at the moment because I can work next month. Um, I am recovering well. Thanks for all of the well wishes and for everybody who has been reaching out. I truly, truly appreciate it. We truly, truly appreciate it. Um, but I am going to try to, you know, knock out some videos here and there as my baby is trying to work. So I hope y'all don't mind. Um, but let's go ahead and go over the rules to the chant. Well, let me, let me pray first. Amen. So, again, this is the Back in the Day Baby Back Rib Challenge. This challenge is a collab between the beautiful, beautiful More Eats and the beautiful Madam Soul Food. The rules to this channel is you have to eat one rack of ribs. Don't have to finish the whole rib. See how many you can eat. Um, include a side with your meal. So I have um, some baby back ribs and I have some baked macaroni and cheese. Um, there's no time limit and unfortunately there's nothing to drink. So I have my water here but you will not see me drink it while I am trying to complete the challenge. Um, and then you have to tell oops, tell a story. It's story time, excuse me. So you have to share your share one of your favorite memories from back in the day. Okay. I'm gonna bring my food a little closer. Now y'all we don't want my CJ to have no edits either. I don't want Frank to handle agency, so we're gonna go ahead and put Frank in the video. Hey there, Frank. Good. But I'm not using Frank. I'm gonna use some too. Um, I got some baked macaroni and cheese here. This is actually some macaroni that we made um, over the weekend. The griddle was on warm. The food was warm. We brought the ribs that were already cooked. We're trying to get caught up on some challenges. And honestly, we tried to do this challenge um, when the man came, when the guys from the man came did the grill off. We were going to use those ribs to try to do this challenge. I can't really remember what happened. Something happened. I know that was the week of my procedure, I believe. Um. And we just had some last minute things to try to get done. And we couldn't do it. But. I'm not going to hold y'all. I don't want to bore y'all. I know y'all boy not here. So. My favorite time. Hmm. These ribs are okay. I usually only eat CJ's ribs. First time I ever had anybody else's ribs for, for the order for me challenge. Roll out for me couple. They got us some ribs from TGI Fridays. They were so good. But these aren't, these aren't bad. Um, favorite memory from back in the day? I just miss back in the day, honestly. I miss growing up. Not having a care in the world, not having to worry about bills. Um, but some of the times that I really, really miss and I think about often is when I used to go to um, concerts with my friends 
we were crazy about Immature when we was coming up. And I used to go to the concerts, all the concerts that was in Maryland, D.C., Virginia, and sometimes Delaware. So um, I was just saying that uh, I miss being a kid and not having bills to worry about. I love being an adult, but the responsibilities that come with adulthood, mm -mm, I don't so much want them. But uh, some of my favorite memories... Me and some of my friends, we were, let me said we were groupies. We loved Immature. That was a male group. Batman, Romeo, and LDB. Marcus, Jerome, and Kelton. We were huge Immature fans. And I was my father's baby. I'm the youngest. And I'm my mother's only child. So I did come up a little full. Um, they allowed me to go to the concerts that came to the Maryland area, Washington, D.C. I went to some shows. I went to a few shows, not a lot, a few shows in Virginia and a few shows in Delaware. My father used to pay for me to go to the show. My mother just had to take me. Um, I remember we used to all go and get our outfits to go to the show we used to get to the show early <clears throat> immature used to come to the radio station v103 used to be here in maryland um and we used to go they used to go when they would come in town excuse me they would go to the radio station and we would just sit in the hallway of the radio station we would go get food from across the street and we would just sit there and we would wait for them to come so that we can get to meet them it was a few times they didn't come we used to be like Y'all think they think they're not going to come because they think we're going to do something. Like, we just want to meet them. We're not going to do nothing. Didn't meet them. Didn't meet them. Um, but then, Tigger, Big Tigger, from 95.5 and then Rap City in the Basement, they used to go on the Tigger show all the time. And we used to call up there and go to, uh, call up there and talk to Tigger all the time. And when Tigger used to go at the constant... Was it Constitution Hall? I think it was Constitution Hall in Washington, D.C. when Immature would come. He's like, y'all at another show? God, y'all still here? Y'all bet we would go to the first and second show. We would go to the shows both Saturday and Sunday if it was a Saturday and Sunday show. We just, we went. And we used to have so much fun. Um, After a couple years, we did have the pleasure of meeting them. I was a part of the um, Immature Fan Club. <laughs> so, one year they did a, a birthday party for LDB, Kelton. And we went and you had to pay, like you, the fan club got to come. And I want to say you got to order your tickets, you know, before everybody else or something like that. But then when we got there, you had to pay money to actually take a picture with them. My mother embarrassed me so bad, y'all. It was LDB birthday. And I don't know, their manager was Chris Stokes at the time. I guess Chris Stokes was trying to, you know, make sure everybody took a picture or showed love to the birthday boy. So I went to go take a picture with Kelton and my mother started yelling real loud. You don't like him. Why are you taking a picture with him? You like Batman. Take a picture with Batman. I was so, so embarrassed. LDB looked over. Chris Stokes looked over. Marcus looked, Batman looked, looked over, and I just looked at my mother, and I was like, Ma, it's LDB birthday, I want to take a picture with him too. She was like, oh, okay, I just want to make sure. You know, now being a parent and an adult, I appreciate it. She was making sure I got to meet my favorite member of the group. So back then, I was just like, lady, seriously? Like, really? You you yelling this right here? I'm, I'm meeting him right here? Yo, but we used to have so, so much fun. And then when we got a little older, <laughs> I can say it now, <laughs> but when we got a little older, we learned that, you know, if you passed out at the concert, they took you backstage. So we had this one friend. <laughs> I'm not going to say no names. I don't think that they even know that I have a YouTube channel or anything. I'm going to add some two times to the um the wrist. But um, we had this one friend who was able to fall out like on the drop of a dime. She was just able to, to fake it. And she did it one day. But before she did it, she was like, they're not going to believe us. They're not going to believe us. And I was like, no, they're not going to believe us. 
She passed out. They came and picked her up so fast. Took her backstage. Next thing I know, she was at the corner. Come on, y'all. Come on, come on, come on. They took us back there with her. It was usually like three of us that always went to all the shows. A couple times, it was a couple of other people that got a chance to go. Um, but we had to go backstage. And, you know, we, we ended up getting to meet them a couple times. And then once B2K came around, we got to meet B2K. We was at all the shows. They met so many people. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't remember who the hell we was today. But at that time, um, you know, we got to go to the shows. We believe that they remember us because of, you know, the things that they used to say and the names that they used to call us. It was one time we was going down the highway and we was next to their tour bus. <clears throat> One of our good friends, she had um, took her shirt off and she threw it. They was hang B2K was hanging out the back of their tour bus. She threw it and fizz caught it. So the next time that we had a chance to see them was actually right before, unfortunately, they had, the group had broke up. No, I'm lying. It was after the group had broke up. They was calling her the smell good something. They said her uh, the underpits wasn't sweating on her shirt and they joked about it. And we used to be like, oh my God, they're going to remember us for life. Them boys don't know what the heck we're doing. But I do miss that. Being able to go to concerts and just have a good time. I miss being able to go outside and play with my friends. They used to turn the fire hydrant on. And we used to run through the water in the fire hydrant. Um, I thought that CJ about not burning himself, and I don't burn my arm like twice. Um, yeah, I just miss being a kid. I'm being I miss, I miss my life before the age of twelve. I don't want to get emotional, but I was a daddy's girl, and. My father passed away when I was 12. And if I could have life back before then, I would do anything. I would truly do anything. Um, but yeah, um, that's what I miss. I'm from back in the day. Um, I just, you know, miss having a good time. Enjoying life. I feel like this generation, they're missing out on so much because they have, you know, the social media and stuff like that. Kids don't want to go outside. And then as parents, you want them to go outside, but then sometimes you just feel like they're safer in the house. So, I'm just the fun of coming up. Like I said, not worrying about bills. Um, oh. I had a outside of some emotional things. I had a pretty good upbringing. Um, I spent the summers with my cousins until a certain age, and then I started staying home during the summertime. Stink is in the kitchen, so y'all know I'm gonna stop for it. Y'all see my baby? This is my world. My heart. How's it going? It's going, it's going. Got her. What? I was recording on the camera. Mm -hmm. It said memory full. It blinked twice and then it said, Ta -da! Memory full? <clears throat> Y'all had a storage? Daddy gotta take all them videos off there. What, won't that take them down on your channel? Mm mm. Why did you make ribs? These not daddy ribs. These are the ones that was already cooked. Because this is a challenge that we <clears throat> was challenged to a while ago. And we were trying to get them done. Oh, 
Mm -mm. Girl, you know daddy made ribs. Whole house would be smelling like heaven. These ain't bad though. Wow. They ain't daddies. They ain't daddies at all. What is it? Actually, Gary, come on. Skin giant. Um, but yeah, y'all. Hopefully, she they can save it from. What we got off the camera. I mean, what I got on the camera. And he can put it together. It's hot. It's a short video. But. Wanted to come through. More each challenge just to this challenge. I love challenges that, um. <coughs> All right, excuse me. Stay, can I get a um a paper towel, baby? The ones that aren't timed. And then I think sometimes, honestly, no. If it's time and you're doing it by yourself, especially somebody like me that really don't have a lot to say, trying to make it a little better because you gotta hurry up and eat. But this was great. I had fun going down memory lane. I'm gonna see if I can find the pictures that I took. Hmm. I'm. I spit. I'm sorry. That was nasty. Um, if I can see, if I can find the pictures that I got to take with <clears throat> Immature, um, there was a couple of pictures that I got that we took with B2K a couple times towards the end, but I know I don't have them when we moved from Virginia. I lost those. I wish I did. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. But I'm going to see what I can find. See, maybe CJ can put them in. Um, I definitely miss my childhood. Sorry, notifications coming through. Definitely miss my childhood. Had a, a good childhood. Had my fun going to the concerts. Like I said, going outside, playing with my friends. I love to swim. I used to go swimming every single day. I am allergic to the sun. So you can imagine the blisters and the bleeding that happened on my face. But it did not stop me. I did not care. Um. So yeah, I hope that you all enjoyed the video. The ribs were great. Stop the cow. <laughs> Stop the cow right now. Stop the cow. It was a great, um, great challenge. Uh, I do know that we had to challenge some people. I'm so late doing this or we're so late doing this. I don't even know who to challenge. Um, let's see. Debo. I'd like to hear some more of Debo's um, stories coming up. He, he's always a great storyteller. Um, maybe scrub the ground. Gigi McNeil, if she's willing to do it. She always have good story time. Um, and I don't know who else, but I do hope to see more people jump on and do it so that we get to learn a little bit about everybody um, and how they came up and the things that they missed coming up and the things that they did for fun. So... If my husband was here, like we always say, make sure you tell somebody that you love them because tomorrow is not promised. We love y'all. I love my husband and my daughter. And until next time, peace. peace.